Alright, welcome back. In this session, what I did is I actually went back one session and I want to show you a new toolpath called the peel mill. And in the peel mill, what it's going to do, it's, very, it's used for uh, basically machining in a climbing motion between two contour lines. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, what I basically did is I took away the geometry that was machined in the middle. Remember, we machined the pocket in the middle. We did an area mill. But this time, I removed it. I'm going to click on the top. And I'm, I'm just going to show you how to do a peel mill right in between. So say we actually had like a half a circle here and then a half a circle here. And we wanted to do a peel mill right in the middle over here. That's what it's used for. So I'm going to use it now, but it's not going to be quite... Uh, it's not going to look that great just because I'm not using it in a proficient manner. There's no a real geometry that I can use it for in this example. But I want to show you how to do it just in case you want to machine something like I just explained between like uh, two half circles. So to get started on it, I'm going to go to tool bath, tool path, and then 2D high speed. Now make sure I select line and C plane. And then go ahead and select one line. And in this one, it's going to tell you to select the whole entire line, but you just want to end it and then select this line right here. Make sure they're both facing that same way and click on the OK button. Now make sure the peel mill is selected. Let's go to tool and let's select a quarter inch flat end mill. So select library and quarter inch flat end mill right here. When you're done with that, go to cut parameters. And now there's a couple new things we want to learn here. There's a rough offset. Now for the rough offset, this is the area you basically leave onto the walls that you just, uh, or the contours that you selected. So let's do that as 0 0.03. For rounding radius, this is the radius for every single step that's rounded. It's, we're going to do that as 0.2. And then for the step over, this is the step over for every step basically, for uh, between every uh, little radius, there's this little, that's called the step. We're going to use that as 0.1. And then there's also a back VJ of 100%. We want to keep that as uh, of 100%. This is going back and forth, 100% of the distance between the two counters that we've selected. Now, let's leave a 0 0.01 inch between the walls. Let's go to depth cut. For the depth cut, let's change that to 0.25. We want to keep the tool. And let's do one finishing cut. One finishing cut. Uh, Cut at 0 0.05. Let's go to finish passes and we want to enable finish passes. Let's keep it the same. And let's also enable machine finish pass only at final depth. So only at the final depth it'll do the machining pass. Now let's go to link and parameters and let's make sure it's going all the way down negative one inch. Now click on OK and then click on the check mark. Now this is what's going to say peel mill cut are not perpendicular to chain or reverse direction. Suddenly, a gouge may result. Use pocket back plot verify quickly. A quick verify. A smaller round radius or tool may be required. So I'll click on OK. And the reason it says that, it's going to still create my tool. And the reason it says that is because those two lines are not parallel to each other. So it's going to be very hard for it to go from one to the other. Remember, it's going to go from this is between one and the other one. But there's nothing on this side. And then there's nothing on this side to machine between. So basically what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to verify it and see if it works. So I'm going to click on here. And just make sure that's selected and click on back plot. Now I'm going to click on top and see if it actually plays out for me. So let's go ahead and see it. And look, look at what it does. So it doesn't quite do what we want it to do. So I'm going to go ahead and play it. I'm going to click on the geometry. I'm going to go ahead and play it. And this is what it does. It's going to go back and forth for us until it machines our part for us. Now, the reason it's messed up like this, and sorry, I won't be able to show you uh, how to do it cleanly unless I have a geometry this way, is that, like I said, I'm going to go back to my back plot and put it on top, is that my path is supposed to go back and forth, but it's supposed to stay on a parallel line. So unless those two lines are, are parallel to each other, it will not know how to stay in between them. And that's why if I keep going, you'll see that angle happen. Because it can't possibly, it doesn't know what to do in this area and in this area. It knows that there's a line here and a line here. And to stay between those two lines. 
but it does not know what to do when it comes to this area and this area. So it has this all open area to do whatever it wants over here and comes back and does whatever it wants over here as long as it machines this pass for us. So if I keep going, you're going to see it, it actually machines the entire pass and then it just keeps going all over the place it's because it doesn't know where it needs to end. There's, there's empty space here, empty space. There's no line above this geometry to control it over on this side and this side. So I'm going to keep it this way. And this session is only to show you how to do the peel, uh, peel mill, and to explain to you uh, where it's done. So remember, you're going to need two parallel lines. Now you can do it only on one counter line as well, but you're going to need two parallel lines to each other. So the path of the peel mill can go back and forth either this direction or this direction, back and forth, staying in between the parallel lines that's going to be holding them together while it's machining. So that, like I said, is really good if you have maybe like a little slot that's going in between. Say there's like a like a half circle here and another half circle here. And there's a little slot in between that's, that makes those two circles parallel to each other. Then that peel mill would be very nice because then you can cut this inner circle with the first uh, area mill. And then go ahead and do a peel mill right in the middle very cleanly to get rid of it. So that's what the peel mill is used for. So that's it, and we're done with this session, and we're ready for it to go to the next session and area mill the pocket.